morning. Welcome to a bright, sunshiny Winnipeg. Is today going to be the beginning of our spring? I don't know. You know, I was noticing in yesterday's episode, I had forgotten to check in on our walkers. Well, they did come by. So, uh, as you should be seeing right now, I've got yesterday's and today's walkers and uh, qu quite a difference. It's bright, it's bright out there today. I, I would think that probably by uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, our snow is going to be gone. However, uh, how is today's episode going to go on the model ship? I, I got to get out and work on my bike box today. You remember that, uh, that, uh, that skirt thing that I had showed you here about three to four days ago? I've got to get that in, in place. Today is a good, might be a good day for it. Because I want to actually use uh, waterproof wood glue and uh, to give it extra strength. And uh, it might be dry enough to do today. Um, there's really not too much assembly I can do until I get that, get that on. So I want to get at it. Uh, yeah, I, I did work at the model table here a bit uh, earlier this morning. And I've, I've got our, our little pieces glued down in, into the sticks so that I can, I can paint them. Um, I imagine that probably some of them will, I could probably pick them up, but although I don't know, I better wait. I didn't use any curing agent, so I better, I better wait a while here. Um, yeah, I don't have a whole lot, a whole lot of news. Uh, I haven't checked the weather, so I don't know what the prediction is, but I think it's going to be nice today. Uh, uh, it's going to be a, a different day. It, it might be, I know that, I know whenever I say this, it doesn't happen. It might be a short episode today. Uh, what do we got here? 841. Uh, any minute now, Missy the dog is probably going to be going out for her morning, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so she'll be by for her, for her dog cookie. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll probably have that. And one of the viewers was saying he, he looks forward to that, uh, 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 little segment where Missy comes to the door and I think he said something to the effect of he, he likes it almost more than the it's what he looks forward to the most <laughs> well I actually I, I don't I don't blame you because uh, uh, there hasn't been too much modeling lately <laughs> uh, well I guess I did a little bit this morning didn't I we are making progress everything I do is just one less thing I've got to do tomorrow uh, yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just sort of, uh, click stop here. And, uh, uh, I think I'm going to have to wait for these to dry and maybe I'll, uh, go and, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. To be honest with you, I don't know what I'm going to do. Good morning. Good morning. Are you glad to see me or what? Are you glad to see me? Hey, hey. Glad to see me? Okay, I got something for you. I got something for you. If I can get it out of my pocket. There we go. Now don't go running off. You can eat it here. Yes, you can eat it here. You're a good dog. You're such a good dog. Here, there's a little crumb. Here, let's look. There's a little crumb. <laughs> okay. Looks like it might be a nice day. Oh, I think it's going to be beautiful. Yeah? yeah.
Okay, it is almost noon and I am getting nowhere. Okay, well I guess not nowhere. I've got my little parts mounted on uh, painting sticks. Now this this piece right here is this piece right here in the in the painting and marking guide. And it says that it is supposed to be number 118, H118. Well, I don't have H118. Uh, and there, there is nothing listed as, uh, you know, a, a uh, Tamiya uh, similarity or whatever you call it. Uh, uh, anyway, I do have, it, it says that it's light blue. Now, I do have Tamiya light blue, uh, the number uh, XF23. I'm hearing a little dog barking out there. I wonder if I'm supposed to go out and give it a cookie. It's not it's not its usual time, but um, okay, I'm I'm just gonna put it I'm just gonna press stop here for a minute. See what's going on. Okay, I'm back. I was just thinking if it wasn't for that little dog, Missy, we wouldn't have a show today. Uh, I was talking about the paint, wasn't I? Okay, so I'm going to use the uh, number 23 here uh, on on uh, this, this piece right here. Um, I had one of these sticks glued up on the inside of, of this uh, cylinder and uh, I, I wasn't handling it rough or anything, and it just it just came loose. So I thought, now what am I going to do? And then I realized that in, in all likelihood, we're not going to be painting the inside, and this fits just like that. So now now this piece here gets painted two tones apparently. It gets painted the 338, uh, which is going to be the same as as this. And uh, then the bottom half is painted something else, but I think I'm just probably going to do the whole thing in 338, and and I'm going to wait uh, for when I spray this overhead bulkhead, um, and I'll, I'll spray that at the same time. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and brush brush this. Um, maybe if I get going here, I was just outside a moment ago, as you probably saw. And it's still pretty cold out there, uh, you know, it, uh, the thermometer says uh, 7.9 over there, but boy, it sure didn't feel like it. And uh, the snow's still on the ground, in fact, uh, there, there was snow still on my special sawhorse. So, uh, um, maybe later this afternoon, maybe by 2-3 o'clock, it'll warm up to where I can get out and get my uh, parts on that require glue. I kind of leery about using glue if it's going to freeze overnight though. I'd like to have the glue completely cure before it freezes. Um, anyway, like I say, we're just not getting anywhere. Okay, now there's something I want to mention here. I made a, a silly but almost, you might say, sort of serious mistake yesterday when I was talking about uh, this little figure and I was calling it a 1-200 scale. Th this is 148th this is scale. Uh, I, I guess I've been working with 1-200 scale battleships for five years and now I just can't get my head around the fact that we're, you know, everything's 148th scale. Now, the next thing I wanted to mention was that, that th these are, are not binoculars. I, I don't know what they are. They're, it's some sort of piping. Binoculars, I believe, would be much uh, smaller in 148 scale because if you if you put them up to 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 a crew member, you can see that that the, you know they're, they're just way too big. I don't I don't know. It's some some sort of uh, pipe work, but they're they're not binoculars. But they sure do look like it, don't they? 
I, I thought that at first too, until I, you know, started to reason it out. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's paint here. Let's let's uh, let, let's paint this with the uh, uh, number th twenty-three here. to dry already okay this little wheel right here which is the smallest one right here is this wheel right here and it is red now of the other three wheels one of them gets painted green and uh, it is actually this one right here. If we turn this around so it's going to be the same orientation as this, uh, it's it's the medium size wheel. The other the other two larger wheels, this one and this one here, they it get they get painted the uh, they get painted red. So so only this one gets painted green. In other words, of the four wheels in step twenty six. Now, now, as you can see, when you're looking at the painting and marking guide, there's going to be a lot more that we put on, and uh, three, three more of them will be green, and the, the rest will all be red. Uh, interesting. Now, what, what also is interesting is that we have to remember here now, we have to remember that, that when we're viewing this, we are not going to view it like this. It is going to be like this. And in order to see these wheels, we are going to have to somehow be able to, to look up underneath. Um, yeah, now I, I, I realize that, that this is not completely f flat like this. It is at a bit of an angle, but uh, not very much. Anyway, uh, we may as well do it right, right? Okay. About an hour or so ago, the plan was that I was going to do a little editing and then come back and paint the wheels red and green. I just can't get into it today. Now, earlier this morning, I had sort of a, a unique experience. And, well, interesting to me. And I was thinking about uh, how long ago was it that I started getting onto this motorcycle thing 
Like when when was it that I first contacted Bill Cycle uh, and talked to Jr. So I, I dug out my emails, up my brought up my emails, and I checked. And the the very first conversation I had with Jr. was on October the thirteenth of last fall. Uh, so that would be. Uh, to 2023. Uh, all right. And I'm thinking to myself, October the 13th, that, that date, it just keeps, was ringing a bell and it took, it took a, a little while. And then it, and then it hit me. October the 13th was my dear wife and, and my wedding anniversary. <laughs> yeah. We were married on October the 13th. 1973 and just moments ago I'm starting to think about this again as I'm sort of deciding that I'm not going to paint today and I, and, I, and then I realized that you know what that was our 50th wedding anniversary if, if I do uh, did I if I did the math right 73 to 20 2023 20, isn't that 50 years our 50th wedding anniversary, just a coincidence that I contacted JR and at Bill Cycle and said, uh, I'll take it. <laughs> you know, that was over six months ago. And I'm thinking probably in, in, a, in a week, 10 days, the, the bike will finally be here. I, sh I should have the bike box ready by the 1st of May, hopefully. I mean, uh, this weather just can't keep on and on and on like it is. Uh, when I was out there giving Missy her Missy her her dog cookie, I, the neighbor was in, the, in his backyard, and I I said it's, it's it feels pretty cold, and it and it did at that time. It's uh, it's up to 11.3 right now. Maybe I will get out a little later this afternoon. But I'm gonna wind her up. Uh, yeah, I I just I just can't get into this today. Some some days I I just can't stop, and other days I uh, I figure that this this is a hobby and. If you force it to try and make other people happy, you yourself are going to be miserable. So uh, I, I don't want that to be happening. Uh, we'll go at it again tomorrow morning and see how it goes. I, I, I'm pretty sure we'll be painting little wheels red and green. And uh, maybe these, I think I'm going to use the uh, Tamiya XF66 on those. Uh, it seems to me that's what I painted the other parts that were similar to that in the other modules. I think I used the 66. Uh, it's not too dark, it's not too light, it, it'll contrast good with the uh, 338 that we're going to be painting the top of this thing. Um, okay, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. <laughs>